All right, this video, I really want to talk about pros and cons of multiboxing. A lot of people seem to be against multiboxing. Some people don't mind it. I think that we need to address multiboxing on TLPs because it's not the same as multiboxing on, say, like a live server. On TLPs, you know, you get maybe three months per expansion. And a lot of people think that they're going to relive EverQuest. Back in the day, you know, we had like a whole year to do whatever we wanted. So for those people that didn't multibox on live, I think these TLPs are a perfect scenario for why you'd actually want to give it a try. So for the people out there watching that have never multi-boxed or against it, have you actually tried it? For these TLPs being on only a three month timeline, there's a lot of stuff that you have to get done very rapidly that when you use that much time, it's like you don't want to be looking for group and you want to do some maybe things that people are interested in. Maybe you're going and farming some, you know, 1.0 epics or something like that or something from an old expansion. And that's where boxing really comes into play. Not only that, boxing is sometimes a really good thing to have when you're in raiding guilds because you can hop on an alt or you can play a second character in the raid or you have another, you know, you have more characters available to you. So what type of multi-boxing are you really against? Is it no multi-boxing period? None at all? You're okay with, you know, two boxing? Three boxing where are you drawing the line at here is it six box the 12 boxers really get you boxing never replaces the actual players playing characters the reason i want to box because I, I like the challenge of learning other classes and doing things my own way and the thing with boxing especially when you get past like six characters is like the fights that you're doing is all about the setup and the preparation and so it does take a little bit longer to get set up for like some of the raids you know, strategies have to be really perfected because one small mistake and you're done i have a, a you know max level ranger i've always had one if i mess up a heal or something messes up on the tank and the tank drops it's not likely that i'm going to be able to switch to the ranger fast enough taunt and weapon shield resurrect my tank rebuff my tank all within that 30 second window stuff that's normal that you can do on raids you can get that tank back up and ready but if my main tank dies like that's it like i wipe and a lot of times you know when stuff goes wrong and it does the, the wipes are not only longer to recover from running back is a pain in the ass there's no one that can really save you if your strategy fails and there's almost no way to recover sometimes because by the time i get to another character and taunt my fight is already so tight as is like there isn't room for air i can't lose a healer i can't lose a dps having a tank down hurts depending on the fight but if my main tank goes down sometimes my secondary tank can pick it up and it's okay but usually when one character dies like it's it's done i'll actually just get up and walk away and let everybody die i used to try to do things like you know i'm gonna evac with either the wizard or the directors one in each group but i realized that that doesn't change the time for a corpse run there's still that dead tank in that instance that i either have to you know disband and wait for it to pop out or go back and retrieve it and i find that having all the corpses in one area dead allows me to run back in and res i use a paladin as a main so i'll be able to run in there drag and res to a spot think of zones like playing a fire if you're over that wall and i evac everybody well now i'm at the fucking zone and i gotta hover my ass back over the wall with a bunch of characters on follow half of them get stuck in the wall every fucking time no matter how i do it gotta make sure they're pointing up so you can levitate up the side of the cliff and make it over the damn wall where i could just die run my paladin back and res on the spot there's no way to recover if your strategy goes wrong so that's a huge downside of boxing and it's really challenging it's a whole different aspect of the game and if you haven't done multi box and i do suggest you try it and see how many characters you can box now i get that people don't like boxing because uh people use things like macro quest or they cheat perma camping mobs but like i said in another video mischief really gets rid of, of that perma camping mobs because of the random tradable loot you know this those items are dropping in other places and it's for sale so you can't like own one camp and if you do that's fine take it just go somewhere else and then with the dz's and then the multiple instances spawning like it's really hard to just own a certain mob and there's no really no reason to stuff drops everywhere else so I just want to go over some of the pros and the cons quickly. So one of the biggest pros that some people might actually multi-box for is sometimes when you pick up group members in the game, either their gear isn't where you expect it to be, or they just kind of, they're, they're bad, or their personality is kind of dull, or they don't fit in. When you multi-box, it takes more of those players away from a potential group. Even if you're only playing two or three, at least you know that you're there to heal, that you're here to slow, that you're going to be doing decent DPS, and that actually adds a lot. Some people will play with other multi-boxers, you know, two sets of three or something like that. That's one of the biggest pros is that you don't have to find random people to do stuff one of the other pros for why people multi-box is that it, it saves time when you want to play if you try to log on now and you're not in a guild especially if you're not doing like the current content or doing something that everybody else is doing like you may never find a group on the tlps you usually can find groups for things like aa but sometimes that's hard and maybe you only have like an hour to play you don't want to log on and waste like a whole hour trying to find a group so if you got box characters at least you can get a little progress done a little something done another reason people multi-box is the loot's all yours like i don't really need to explain that you get everything 
everything. And that's a that's a really cool bonus to, to multiboxing. And as I, I kind of hinted on before, another big advantage to multiboxing is you do learn ins and outs of other classes. Now, as I also said, you are not going to be playing those classes at 100% efficiency. When you start to switch to even two characters, you're like down to 90 at best. And then by the time you're playing 6 to 12, unless you're using software, and even with software, because software is automated, so it's, it's how good is your script, how good is your setup, how good is your prep, you're still not going to be able to react like a normal player would. And if you're not using software and you're playing 6, like when I play 12 characters, most of my melee are just auto attacking. And then my healers are just healing and then I just throw my buffs out like they're playing at like 50% efficiency anybody that's playing like an actual character and working on gearing them and paying attention to all the augs and you know has less characters or even only playing one character I mean way better than any of my box characters it's not even close like I said one of the pros is that you get to learn all these other classes and what they do because I used to play a warrior main on the live servers I knew what everybody else did but I didn't really like know their whole spell line and how it could be used so that's been one interesting aspect is that I've played with every class so being able to use all the other classes has really actually increased and enhanced my skill level as an EverQuest player and then it's made it more enjoyable just to know everything ish about the game obviously there's a lot of things I don't know but it did expand my horizon and things that I missed the first time playing through live only playing one character and then as I said two the big advantage I touched on is you can play where you want instead of like the hot zones like you don't have to go to split pot to farm AA hey, you don't have to be on plane of fire you can go back and farm your epic 1.0s you can go back and farm some ore you can go back and farm anything for trade skills you can go check out a zone and just chill in there. You're not restricted to playing where other players are because you don't need to look for a group, especially when you're doing older content. And that's been a huge advantage. Now, as I already said, some of the cons, the more characters you play, the less efficient you become. I don't even care if you're scripting and using macro quest. You're basically going to set like some very basic maneuvers and the characters are going to be somewhat reactive based off the script, but they're not going to be like a real player. They're just, it's not going to happen. And then another big con, as I've already said, is the big fights, especially epic 2.0s or things like that or raiding like minis with your own six box like it requires a lot of preparation all your buffs have to be in order all your your heals got to be like timed and set you really got to pay attention you can't slack off you make one air it'll wipe your whole group and it's really going to be frustrating so it, it is like a whole different type of challenge and and if you're going to experience a game that's 20 some years old for the second time like go ahead and do something different if you're against boxing like go ahead and, and try it out you know that's what people are doing they're finding a different challenge in a game they loved and they're finding ways to do things they maybe didn't get to do on live because I used to multibox even on the live servers back when it came out it was really hard to run multiple off one PC back then because we just didn't have like enough hardware because the technology wasn't there so I had multiple PCs but how many can you get off dial-up internet and now I have chances to run as many as I can put in for many PCs on the TLPs so with your larger prep time you also have the wipes will take longer to recover from sometimes depending on the scenario that's why I said earlier it's better to just die don't try to save yourself don't it back don't run characters all the place don't try to run away maybe take like your main character that can res like a paladin or cleric and try to run away or camp out that will save you some time but i find that just letting everybody die and running my paladin back and levitating over that wall myself like in plane of fire it really decreases my recovery time so i'm not having to find everybody's corpse and or, or run people back to an area because i evac out and then the other downside, of course, of multibox on TLP is every character costs extra money, not just for accounts, but for PCs until they put a lax on the true box rules. Maybe we'll get to run three off one PC at some time. So it does cost a little bit extra money. We don't have time to be sitting around farming 40 hours a week. We just want to come home maybe from work and enjoy the game. So I just want people to understand that there are a lot of people that are enjoying themselves on the TLPs that are multiboxing. And I do want to point out that there are other servers that are still hardcore and still classic if you want to get that type of experience because you're frustrated or sick with the TLPs, you don't have to play on the TLPs. You can play on private servers. You can play on Project 99. Like there's a ton of options for people that want to go back and relive certain expansions. Otherwise, we got TLPs and whatever you're here for, whether you want to go through and solo, whether you want to box, whether you want to farm some stuff, whether you want to raid, like whatever you want to do, like these are TLPs and we shouldn't discourage other people from doing what they want, sort of cheating. And I would be okay if they actually made the cheating tail TLP. Like if they want to make a TLP that was on three month expansion releases and it's, you can do whatever the hell you want run whatever software you want i think that would be interesting and that would be the rule set of the server what i don't like about some of the tlps is some people you know skirting the actual rules and as long as you are aware of the rules and you're following the rules then you don't really get an advantage over other players if it says true box and it's one account per pc and you're complaining because you don't have other pcs well i mean tough luck and maybe they could like do a little bit better on policing people using software because i have seen people pretty much cheating i guess i think a lot of those advantages from the multi-boxing they really do go away 
play, especially if you're in some of these raid guilds that distribute platinum at the end of the raids. I've had a hard time using my 12 box to keep up with some of the payouts that those uh, guilds have gone through. So if you're already raiding, you're pretty much fine. If you have extra time after the raids, then yeah, pick up a multi box and maybe farm something. But it's a, it's a really old game and people are, are coming back and playing. Like we're lucky that these servers are even live, to be honest. You know, I played Warcraft 2 back on like the Kaylee, Mag League, like MSN gaming days and Heat or whatever it was. And then they made Warcraft 2 Battle.net Edition. But there's games like that that you can still play, but you have to go on like a private Russian server to even play it. So there's games that are haven't done as well as EverQuest and, and surviving this long that I wish I could play. So I just want to point out, like if you were to ever get rid of the multi-boxers, you would get rid of a huge demand and a lot of money coming into Daybreak to keep these servers running. And yeah, maybe you could have like one pure server, like a P99 type server that's supported by Daybreak, but I think the game would really just die. And so I really do like what they did with the TLPs and the rule sets. Like you should have to follow the rule sets and I don't think there should be a limit on rule sets. You can make an only boxing server. You can do whatever you want the rule sets and as long as you're there abiding by that rule set i think that's fine and i have no limits on what the rule set can be it could be multi-box it could be cheat you know if you don't like that rule set there's other servers with different rule sets play on the one that you like and i think that is actually a really good solution instead of bitching about people multi-boxing on a server that you're allowed to multi-box on thanks for joining me to talk a little bit philosophy on everquest and boxing i do want to hear what you have to say whether you agree or disagree go ahead light them comments up tell me why you you would multi-box why you do why you wouldn't if you're gonna if you're gonna try it if you're if you're against trying it all together go ahead and tell me why tell me stories i don't care the more conversation we have the better so please do feel free to leave comments i might even agree to some points you make i don't give a shit i i want to hear what you guys have to say good or bad obviously don't get on there and start swearing because the youtube filter or may not let it through. Once again, thanks for watching. We got P99, we got TLP, we got private servers and tests that's free. Some of us pay, some of us don't, some of us play, some of us won't. Did you just break my mess? Did you just train me? Did you just miss a healing? Are you gonna rest me? And please, I need a sow. And please, I need a rest. And please, I need that sword. I'll take what you got. 